peony man, what do you think? peony girl, peony goddamn magician, yes. peony fairy. <laughs> <laughs> We have chosen the the first peony of the month for January. So, um, Billy, uh -huh. um, you recommended yeah. um, Hilary Eitel. Uh, could you give us a bit of story of um, of the flower and why you cho uh, you chose it? Well, I just thought it was it was the good a good one to start with because it's actually been made by the American Peony Society, who handle everything to do peony um they're in charge these days and they uh they chose it as peony of the year itos were developed by professor ito in japan pre-second world war i think um he worked on them and then just after the war he um, he managed to do his, fi his final cross between a tree peony and a herbaceous peony anyway uh, winding forward quite a few years uh, and this, he died before they ever flowered, but the, the, all the, um, the plant material and, and information was sent to America uh, uh, by uh, Louis Schmirno. He was a plant hunter and went to Japan and found out about these amazing crosses between a tree peony and a herbaceous peony. Um, so he brought them back to America and various people, including Don Hollingsworth and Roger Anderson up in, I think he's up in Oregon, um, they uh, all got to work and starting to do some more crosses. All the original crosses were yellow. So it was, when they came out at first, it was, uh, you could have any color you want as long as it was yellow. Uh, various <laughs> shades of yellow, a bit like Mr. Uh, Mr. Ford, when he brought out the, the Model T Ford, you could have any color you want as long as it was black. Um, <laughs> anyway, the, the, anyway, moving on from there, Various people at like Roger Anderson and uh, De David Reith, I think, uh, got involved. And uh, as I said, Don Hollingsworth. Anyway, they had been doing a lot of work. So there were a lot of eaters created in the, the latter part of the last century, in the 80s and the 90s. And they're all coming to, coming to the market now. And they have just become so popular. And the reason they're popular is, one because they have so many flowers, they have the beautiful foliage of a tree peony and the flowers of a tree peony, but the habit of a herbaceous peony. And uh, they're in, because of that, they're, in, they're also incredibly hardy. Um, so you don't have problems. You have these tree peony flowers, but in abundance, um, up, up to 100 flowers on some plants. Um, so they have become the most popular thing uh, development in peonies in, in many years. Um, am I babbling on too much? Um, but the other thing is that uh, the the qualities of them, having so many flowers, being so hardy, um, not needing any form of staking, resistant to deer, resistant to rabbits, um, and that the foliage on, on intersectional peonies lasts uh, uh, about a month longer than herbaceous peonies. So they are the perfect peony. And this year we, we launched all our intersectionals on the, online a few weeks ago. And I mean, tonight I had another order in and it's just, it was something like 15 intersectional peonies they've ordered. Um, wow. Everybody's going crazy on them. And I'm, I'm glad I overbought on them last year, but uh, <laughs> there we go. So anyway, that's, a, that, that's probably a good reason for kicking off the peony of the month with something as special as yeah. the peony of the year and also as an intersectional peony. Yeah. And it's like, but, um, from what you said, it's like, because it's strong, it has the quality, good qualities of the tree peonies and the herbaceous peonies. It's kind of like as you said, one plant you can have one hundred flowers. I'm like, wow! It's it's it, it feels like this year is start, starting with a great prosperity with the peonies, with the strong peonies. That's why we choose it. Then it's also okay. I called it like um, a callas uh, peony for me because it's so strong and it gains colors. A lot of things is. Happening. Uh, it's a diva. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, but they're not very, they're not that temperamental, though. <laughs> um, 
Okay. <laughs>